what is the property of a system what's a property well in simple terms property is nothing but something which which characterizes a system right so it is something which gives a definition to some system now what do i mean by that suppose i have any system take any normal any random system suppose i have i have an apple with me right let me try to draw an apple so this is an apple right so how can i characterize this apple now apple is my system right so this is an apple this is my system how can i characterize this well i can go on telling some of the characteristics of this apple such as its uh, color could be one of the characteristic then its uh, taste then its texture and so on i could go on and on right so what is this what is this color taste texture these are nothing but the properties of this apple right let me take another example another example of a pressure vessel a pressure cooker right so i have this pressure cooker here and there is the gas entrapped in it and this gas entrapped the air inside it is my system now for this system what properties what properties i can list down i can go on listing temperature then pressure then volume then its molecular structure its uh, chemical behavior then the velocity of the gas inside then the viscosity of the gas inside then maybe the density and so on and so forth the toxicity the ph level the list goes on and on right so these many things could be the property which could characterize the gas inside this pressure cooker right now for thermodynamics we we'll limit our study with the thermal thermal behavior of course so we'll only consider certain properties which are called as thermodynamic properties so these are the thermal and physical uh, properties amongst all of this general properties so i'll take temperature then i'll take internal energy then entropy then enthalpy and then volume density uh, pressure and so on so these are the physical properties these are the thermal properties so together this becomes the thermodynamic properties which will uh, analyze and which will focus upon in our journey while studying thermodynamics now let me list some of the properties such as temperature pressure internal energy specific internal energy then density then specific entropy then i have volume then mass then internal energy then uh, entropy and enthalpy etc if you notice these properties this set of properties are a bit different from these set of properties in a way that okay, let me explain how suppose i take this system this is a closed vessel in which some gas is entrapped now if i have to measure say temperature or pressure or maybe specific internal energy or maybe density then i can choose any location in this system maybe this location or maybe this corner location any location and i can find out the temperature pressure values which would be which will be valid for the entire system right so measuring the properties at any point irrespective of the extent of the system irrespective of the mass and volume and the spread of the system i can go on fixing that property for the entire system so these are called as the intensive properties while here let me take the same system now i measure some volume initially say that is v1 and some mass m1 what i'll do i will break this system into two halves now now once the system has been broken into two halves the volume is also halved the mass is also half because 
the amount of gas the number of moles are also reduced so the extent of system when it got reduced these properties also got reduced if i would do the same here if i would take the same system i would i would make a partition i would reduce the system to half then i try to measure the temperature again it would be same as the temperature here which is the temperature of the entire system so but here if i half or if i uh, quadruple or if i do any sorts of things which which would change the extent of the system then the properties would change thereby these are called as the extensive properties right so we have two divisions for properties here which are just made for simplification purpose based on the common observations and common sense these are called as intensive and extensive properties now properties like density density is what it is the ratio of mass upon volume both are individually extensive properties right these are depending on the extent of the system mass and volume both but the ratio is such that when volume gets reduced volume becomes say half mass also becomes half thereby the ratio which was earlier v by m initially after after reduction what happens v by 2 upon m by 2 which is again v by v by m sorry v by 2 upon m by 2 right so it is again v by m so the ratio is intact thereby density is called as the intensive property and which is also evident from the fact that density can be measured anywhere right I can measure it here i can measure it here anywhere i can measure and i can infer that that is the density of the entire system entire gas the air around us we define its density as 1.2 kg per meter cube so we don't specify the uh, location right we don't uh, we use it uh, as a general term so that is valid for every uh, location in ambient at of course in uh, given temperature and pressure values so density is something which is uh, intensive not an extensive property again there are uh, some properties re regarding energies so energy is generally associated with mass more the mass more the energy that it, it carries so energy also increases with mass so what are the forms of energy that we deal in thermodynamics we deal with internal energy which is given by u then we deal with enthalpy that is given by h then uh, there are many other forms of energy uh, there are some some other properties as well such as uh, entropy given by s and so on and so forth there is exergy and so on mass increase we can say that energy possessed by that gas increases right so thereby energies absolute energies absolute energies that are in joules or maybe kilojoules are extensive properties because they depend on the extent that is matter that is contained more the matter more the extent of the system more is the energy but um, many a times intensive properties are very useful actually all of the times intensive properties are always useful when dealing with thermodynamic analysis so since we want intensive properties this is what we uh, love to define always uh, so we can convert the energy terms that is extensive properties into intensive properties just by doing one thing what we can do we can divide this energy by amount of matter that is amount of mass same with the enthalpy right so this goes on to become specific internal energy denoted by small u and this becomes specific enthalpy given by small h so the units of these quantities now become kilojoule or joule per kg kilojoule per kg is a popular unit similarly there are other terms such as entropy and then specific entropy just we have to whenever the term specific comes it means that it is either either per unit 
मास और पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम राइट बिकॉज वॉल्यूम एंड मास बोर्थ टेल यू द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एक्सटेंट ऑफ द सिस्टम 